I just did a little thing about uh, pancake editing in Premiere versus not needing to pancake edit at all in Final Cut 10, and you get the same effect with less complications. And uh, there's another corollary to that, and that is nesting versus compound clips. So the other reason that you would like to use pancakes in Premiere that is unnecessary in Final Cut 10 is because you want to use a sequence as a source. So there's a couple ways of doing it. You can go ahead and load the sequence into the source monitor and then um, click a couple of buttons here and use that straight out of here. Or it's easier to uh, pancake it. And um, I've done that here. So here's the pancake clip, and you just want to drag all these down in here, and drag all these down in here. You know, you get the idea. Same thing, pancake, pancake, but I've got multiple tracks, and that's one of the reasons maybe you want to use a sequence, because you've got multiple tracks, or you've got a string out, and it's in a proper order, etc., etc. Um, now, you could also nest the clip, but nesting is not very efficient in that uh, you can go ahead and drag the nest in here and you know cut some pieces in to your sequence I'll just cut a couple pieces in but then you know you want to get to the source so you match back which brings you back to this and then you double click this and then you get into it and there you basically back where you started. So you might as well use a pancake. Now in Final Cut 10, one of the criticisms of Final Cut 10 is that you can't use a project as a source, a sequence as a source, as you can in Premiere using pancaking or whatever. Um, that's actually not true. It's actually much easier to use a sequence as a source in Final Cut 10 without pancaking or any other voodoo. Um, essentially, I have got my string out here and I have made that string out into a compound clip, just like I did with nesting in Premiere, except nesting in Premiere is not optimal. And as we saw, because you can't really get back to what you've done. So here I have my string out, which I'm using as a source, and I want to stick that in, and stick this in, and stick this in, and there it is. And then I want to get back to the original source channel so I can go ahead and edit it. And there it is. Now, let's say I then wanted to put another piece of this. Here's another nice benefit of Final Cut 10. Let's say I wanted to put this piece in uh, here. And then I wanted to get those channels. Well, in Premiere, if I wanted to get back to this, it would require a lot of copying, pasting, moving tracks around, targeting, making space. In Final Cut 10, I just expand it. There it all is. Um, no work at all. So using a sequence as a source is actually easier in Final Cut 10 without pancaking. Anyway, that's my little rant, and uh, thank you for watching.